All right. Morning, everyone. So we got another beautiful day here in Alaska. Uh, it's a little cloudy. It's gonna have a little bit of sun. It might rain just a little bit today. I'm not sure. I don't really track the weather, man. I just tend to look outside. That's how I gauge it. So anyways, today I'm gonna be heading down to Seward to do a little bit of snagging. Now I know at first that sounds really bad because when people hear the word snagging, they think bad fishermen, illegal catching. Not the case in this particular situation. During this time of year, say June, uh, we have a, a sockeye red run that goes through Seward. And during that time, we're allowed to snag because these are hatchery fish and they, they release them in a big abundance. I think we're allowed to have six fish a day or something like that. I gotta double check that reg. I don't want to promote anything wrong, and when I do find that out, I will put that in the descriptions below for the specific information along with everything else. And so anyways, <clears throat> the reason I am making this particular video is I want to settle the score once and for all about the difference of or the difference between flossing and snagging. This seems to be a controversial topic amongst a lot of states whenever people see that we do it here in Alaska. It is not the same thing at all, like not even close. When you floss, or up here when we floss, we are only allowed to use, I think, a Russian River fly, and you can use weights, and it's basically just drift and flip. And I've done another video about that, and I'll actually uh, link that up here so you can see that. Now, this video, we're actually going to show you the difference on how to actually snag, which is just a basic ugly stick and you know line in a weighted treble hook and all you're doing is ripping water and it does not matter where you hook that fish the moment you hook him he's yours it's that simple that's snagging so i'm going to be showing you guys that difference today so you gotta hit the road you gotta grab some more supplies and i'll get back to you down in Seward. So we take the path down the old Nash Road and then you come over here by the McDonald area. Then out here you'll see all the culverts that people are trying to fish on the incoming tide. If we're lucky some of the seals will be pushing them up. That'll make it a little easier to fish. Generally speaking you want to fish the outgoing tide because as the tides lower the culverts become revealed and the fish get tightly corralled inside of those culverts making them a little easier to pick off and snag but we're only here for a little bit today so we have to fish the incoming high tide and you'll see from all the people in the video that the water is just everywhere and so are the fish so <laughs> wishes luck okay so the first technique here that i'm going to show you guys and i'm just doing this with the basic little drawing doodle thing this ain't no fancy hollywood production here so this technique this is going to be the flossing, you know, drift and flip. Real simple stuff. Now, let's put a river bank on here. Okay, there's our water. And we're going to put some fish in the water. Because, you know, we need fish to catch. <laughs> what else is there to life? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna put us out here. We're fishing, smiley face. Now, when you floss, what you're doing is, it's just like a, it's like a lassoing, kind of a cowboyish type of thing. Cause you're literally doing all in one fluid motion. But here's what it looks like in the water with your hook. Now you throw that line out 
and we're gonna throw it out about one o'clock. Now what happens, it's gonna drop there and you're gonna feel your weights bouncing on the bottom like this. And they're just gonna do this the whole way and you're following your line all the way across in this sweet motion. And then when you get out here to about nine o'clock or when the water starts to just feel dead and you stop feeling that bounce, what you're gonna do is you're gonna give it a nice sweep motion like this. Now, when you do that sweep motion, what's gonna happen is it should bring it right into the fish's mouth here. And that hook is gonna catch that fish. And then when you kind of go back to your lasso, not gonna have to, you obviously got a fish on. Now, that's basically how the floss works in the water. And if you didn't catch a hook, you just throw it all the way back out there at one o'clock and you start the whole process over again. As you can see from here, it's basically just a giant lassoing circle you're doing in the water until you hit your fish. That's flossing. Now, here's the big difference between that and snagging. Now, let's do the whole thing again. Let's get our riverbank on there with the directional water. And we'll get our little fake clock back on there. And this one, we are Snagsville. Okay, we're gonna put some fish. Now, a lot of people hear snagging and they think that's terrible. Well, in June, we've got this whole thing down here in Seward where snagging is completely fine, completely promoted. We're basically just using a big treble hook and we're going after reds. If you're wondering what that looks like, it's real simple. I'll probably just put up a little animation, but that's basically the hook. Just a giant weight on it, nothing fancy. Now, what we're gonna do, oh, I forgot to draw us back in the picture. Smiley's, because we're refreshing. <laughs> okay, now here's what your line's gonna look like, or here's the path the line's gonna take in the water. Now when you're snagging, you're throwing that line way out there, because you're trying to sweep through the culverts, or maybe you're just going high tide. You're just taking all the water. What's gonna look like, since the water's rushing, you're gonna pull it down and you're gonna yank on it. You're gonna reel your line in because you're gonna have all that slack now and this thing's gonna drift a little bit and then you're gonna yank again. Well, bam, there's your fish. Now, that's pretty simple, right? Because all you're doing is you're just holding it out there and you're sweeping back as hard as you can or generally just a good pull on it because it doesn't matter. You're not trying to get the fish in the mouth. You're just trying to get that giant treble hook anywhere on that fish. And that's a legal catch here. And when you do hook them up, you know, fish on. That's pretty simple stuff. Now, I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like on the water, and not just in the goofy little animated diagram. Well, like I've had a buddy down here giving me feedback for our page and whatnot. People have wanted to know how it's going. And it appears to be going quite well. People out here are catching, even on the high tide. Which is generally harder because the fish have more room to swim around. Nice. Fish on. As you can see here, this is what the snagging technique looks like. It's just whipping and ripping. Gotcha. Yep, got him right in the motor. <laughs> you ever seen a fish twerk before? <laughs> nice. And every now and then, you come across a big one. Check out the size of this buck that I hook up on. This thing goes wild. There's one. Holy shit. I got fucking Moby Dick here. <laughs> All right. Oh, 
you little bastard. Where'd you go? There we go. I gotta wear them out. Just do your thing. Come back here. Jesus Christ, that's a big one. Oh, oh boy. Splish, splash. Well, thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That way you can get more video content like this one. And if you did find it educational and informative in some way, or maybe it even cleared up a debate for you about the differences between snagging and flossing, go ahead and share this video out there with other people. That way they can see the differences. We understand here in Alaska, we just do things a little bit differently up here, but we do follow code and we do stick to the regs. So, till next time, friends.